it took me so long to not be able to be affected about things that I saw online. Every morning I would Google or go on Twitter and type in glioblastoma. To be honest, I didn't really, I don't really like talking about it because I'm all about the positive mindset. And it's not that I'm ignoring cancer, but I just don't want to pay any attention. The more attention you pay it, the more it consumes your life. And I don't want it to consume my life. I've got kids, I've got a family. So I just try and just ignore it as much as possible. And that's hard at times, you know, when you're stilted walking, you can't move your arm probably. I'm like, come on, get moving. What would be a bad day then? Uh, so a bad day would be wake up, can't eat anything. Chemo really took it out of me. It's the appetite. You can't eat anything. And then obviously you're losing weight. I lost about, lost about three and a half stone in about three weeks. And then to try and get that back on again, it's easy to lose weight, but putting it back on is really, really hard. After the diagnosis, how quickly were the guys from The Wanted to get in touch and show support? I spoke to the boys and they, they all reached out individually. You know, Max was like, anything I can do to help. Jay was like, listen, I'll do anything. You know, we just want to see you get better. And I was so kind. You know, and during that time, you feel... Uh, it's such a lonely, like, time in your life, you know, where you feel like you've got nothing. You know, you just feel like you want to curl up and die, to be quite honest with you. Mm. And, you know, the boys getting involved and just gave me that little bit of like hope and inspiration to like push on and do some good. What message would you have for anyone who finds themselves in your position? Just focus on every day. You know, none of us, any of us in this room know, don't know what tomorrow holds. And I think that's the one thing that I've taken from this situation, live today like it's your last.